Hello everyone, uh, it's Dorota here again on uh, Versus Monday. I hope that everyone had a good weekend and maybe you squeezed some diving in between there as well. But now on Monday, looking forward to the hopefully nice week, I would like to talk a little bit about uh, a piece of equipment which is critical, about buoyancy compensators. And I would like to compare and describe some pros and cons for two major types that we are using. It's a jacket style buoyancy compensator so BC or a wing style BC. For many years I have been using a jacket style BC because I started diving quite a while back already. And at some point I changed to a wing style BC. And then what I have found the, the biggest difference between them is the fit. Because as an instructor I was very often struggling of fitting a standard jacket style BC to my students because they have been either too tiny they have been a little bit bigger and it was always a little bit of a challenge of having the uh, BC really nicely and snug on them so that the system is not really wobbling because you know the tank is heavy and if you put everything on your back it starts to be a little bit easier to move around on your back. So now you can think that I will be a little bit biased when I talk about the jacket style versus the wing style but I will try to be as objective as I can and I will try to remember back the advantages and disadvantages of a jacket style and as well present some disadvantages of a wing style jacket as well. First let's talk about the jacket style BC, a little bit about the pros and cons. So I brought here one so that you have a visual reference what we will be talking here about. So this is the jacket style BC and I will go into a little bit more details uh, a little bit later on. So let's talk about the positive sides of it. So the first one is it's popularity, its availability, and of course a little bit the price because of its popularity. It's the most dived type of jacket and most of the divers that you will see will use this one. So definitely an advantage because wherever you will travel the first thing that you will be able to rent will be that style of a BC. The next thing that it's on a positive side is as well that you will get it into variety of sizes and types. So you will have for instance kits, BCs which are fitting like small people. <laughs> um, you will have female BCs as well, which has a little bit of different fitting that will accommodate a female body a little bit better. Um, the other advantage is that it's coming as one unit, so it's one piece. So whenever you buy, you will just receive one thing which has integrate, integrated tank straps, it has integrated uh, adapter to fit to a single tank. So everything comes together assembled and it's just one piece of equipment. Another advantage of this system is that it's very easy to put on and off because it has plenty of buckles that you can release. You can make the straps wider. So it's super easy to put on and it's very easy to take off because you just unclip everything, all the buckles, and it just, you could say, fell, fell off your back. Um, the other thing which is a benefit because it comes as one unit, it doesn't really need any adjustments in a sense that you don't need to adjust the sizing, you don't need to adjust the width. You just have straps and buckles that you put tight and that's it. So it's a little bit easier to use kind of straight out of the box. Another advantage that I see, it has quite a lot of pockets or it can have quite a lot of pockets where you can store stuff like a spare mask or your SMB and a spool. You can store there a, a slate or a notebook. So it's kind of comes with these integrated pockets and as well, most of the time, it has integrated weight pockets. So you will not need to use a weight belt, which for some people is a little bit inconvenient to use. So it has variety of different weight attachments with some additional pockets sometimes. So it comes nicely uh, assembled, I would say. So it's kind of one unit that straight from the box you can just start to use. So all of those, from my perspective, are advantages. Let's talk about cons now, so a little bit of negative sides of it from, of course, my perspective. So the first one would be that because of the types of materials being used, it's most of the time a little bit positively buoyant, so you would need to put more weight to make it neutral. As well, because how it is designed, it might contain some small pockets of gas that it will be harder to release gas from while you are going down. And that's why as well increasing the amount of weight that you might carry. And remember that every way that you take with you more, it will an increase your effort because you will need to drag that weight with you underwater. Other thing is that um, 
It's a single bladder, which means if the outer shell is getting punctured, the hole is actually there and the gas will start to leak from it. The next disadvantage what I find is that it does not have a crotch strap, so a strap that goes from the back of the system between your legs up to the front, which holds the whole system on your shoulders tight. And the most disadvantageous thing with that one is that if you are using that jacket on the surface, or if you are at the surface with this jacket filled, it will kind of lift off. And then you will see that the shoulder straps are really high up, and it's really not very convenient, especially if the system is not uh, uh, sized properly. So now let's go to a little bit more uh, cons, but I would need to put the system on, so just give me a second, I will just put it on and come back to you. So here I am back with the jacket on me now. So first thing what I would like to talk about, which I found very disadvantageous, is amount of buckles and attachments that makes that fit. So first of all, I have this Velcro here. Then I have one buckle here that I can make tight if I need to. Then I have one more here. And then I have here one and here one. So it's a plenty of buckles that I need to put on. As well, all of those buckles are plastic, so it's a very good chance that they will break and then the jacket will become unfit again or it will not be so well fitted. The other thing is that those ones, very often, they tend to slip open underwater and in that case, you will have the jacket not really fitted properly because this will become looser. And very often in the beginning, if you are not really very aware of what the equipment is doing on you, it will cause a little bit of imbalance because the equipment will be uneven and you will have a tendency to shift one to one or to the other side. The next disadvantage what I find here is where the gas that I inflate to that one is going. So here, let me show you. The gas is going into those pockets here and a little bit to the back here as well. So first of all, from the perspective of fitting, it starts to be very restricted here. So I would need to make this one a little bit more loose so I can breathe because it just restricts my belly here and I can not really breathe properly. And all the gas is here. The disadvantage now is that if I go underwater and release the gas, this will become loose again. So I would need to make it tighter. So the fact that the gas is here in front is not allowing really to this jacket to be perfectly fit all the time. The second thing with that design is that because of the gas being here in front, like it's a quite huge around amount of gas in here, will not really promote a very nice trim, so a flat position. And it will be harder because the gas is both on your back and here under your belly. So it's as well not ideal for trim. As well, then I said, when these ones are not evenly tight, it will influence your balance as well. So which is, from my perspective, a big disadvantage because then you will not feel really stable underwater. The third thing here that I would like to show that the amount of release valves that I have is as well quite a lot because I think I have one here. I will have one here somewhere in the back. Yes, I have one here. I can release gas from here and I can release gas when I pull forward from here as well. So I have the control of my buoyancy on both sides and very often different models will have all of those release valves in different places. So every time I would rent one, I would need to learn what those devices are. And as we all know, buoyancy control is really critical and you need to get to control it relatively easily and quickly. So let's move on. I will take it off now. So give me a second. And the last thing that I would like to touch on uh, is uh, the way the weighting systems are designed. So most of these jackets will have an integrated weight system, but very often because of the models and the variety of different options, you will need to learn how to release those weights if you are changing from one jacket's model to another if you are renting some. So sometimes you need to unclip, there is a Velcro, you need to push, pull. So the variety of ways to release the weight is really quite a lot. So from my perspective, this type of jackets, because of the variety and how many models there are and where all of these components of this equipment is, it's a nightmare for a person who likes standardization and minimalism. So for me, this is the main disadvantage of this system. So now let's switch and then let's look at the wing system and then see what advantages and disadvantages this one has. Now it's the time to introduce a wing style, a buoyancy compensator, and I have one here as well. 
And this is the one that I'm diving when I'm using a single tank. So you can see it looks a little bit different. It has, a, as we call it, a wing. It has here in the back a single tank adapter with the straps. And then it has a back plate and a harness. I would like to put one, I would like to put that one as well on to show you some differences. So just bear a minute with me. Here I am with my own system, so it fits very nicely and snugly to me, so that's why I like it. And uh, this is one of the biggest advantages as well, that it's so individualized. I can have it fitted perfectly to my body. If I have one shoulder lower, one shoulder higher, it can be adjusted because these straps can be adjusted accordingly and it will stay like that. It doesn't matter if you are at depth, if you are at the surface, every single time it will fit in exactly the same way, which is a very big benefit. The other thing is that it's very robust. I mean, there is no, no plastic pieces. Everything is simple, it's very robust, so I don't have any fear that any buckles will break or they will just become loose, changing the uh, length of my straps, and it will be sitting on my back exactly the way I would like to have it. The next thing, it does have the crotch strap. So this is the piece that I was talking that the BC style is missing which keeps everything in place. So if I inflate my wing, it will not pull these shoulders up. It will just stay very snugly in place. So I can move with it and it doesn't really change the position. Another thing that I have here and already inflated the wing for me, you can see that there is nothing in front. I have nothing, no gas coming here. There is nothing that restricts my breathing and there is nothing that restricts my movement here in front because all of the gas is going here in the back. So you can see that the wing is practically full and it's not restricting anything at all. So this is really huge advantage of how the system is fitting. Other advantage of having all of the guns behind in the back is that it allows me to have my neutral trim, so be really nice and flat in the water easier because all of the guns will be concentrated on top of me, so it will be holding me up, which is a very big advantage for having a proper trim and how to control it. The other advantage in regards of buoyancy and in specific buoyancy control is that all pieces that would allow me to control it are only in one side, which is your left side. And it's only two pieces of equipment or two releases that I can use. So one is here, the standard release that I have on every inflator. And the other one is here in the back where I have the overpressure valve. So this will be only two options that you have. So there's no mixing of which one should I pull now or where it is because all of the wing systems will always have the buoyancy controlling part on the left side. So left hand will be always responsible for controlling your buoyancy. The other advantage is that those systems, the wing itself is a dual bladder, which means it has an outer shell and it has an inner bladder. So if there is any puncture on the outer shell, it's not really a problem because the inner bladder will be intact. Of course, you can puncture both of them if you are really unlucky, but at least if the outer bladder is getting worn or is getting punctured, you will still have the inner bladder that will hold the volume of gas for you. Next thing I would like to talk about is uh, where would I put my weight or how this system is a bit different than the uh, jacket style. So these systems normally are coming with a back plate. And they can be steel back plates, stainless, stainless steel back plate, aluminum back plates, carbon back plates. So the system itself is heavier because of the materials that it's built. So it's buoyancy, usually it's closer to neutral or negative, and you would usually need a little bit less weighting if you are using this style uh, of a system. Generally, the biggest benefit for me is that it's minimalistic. I do not have anything extra, anything that is bulky, anything that I don't really need on there. It's uh, modular, which means that I can replace this wing to have a bigger wing and then maybe to change to a twin set, which is a set of uh, two tanks. And the front and the fit will be exactly the same. So it's modular and it's expandable because I will be just adding components to it as I need it. And I will not need to re relearn my habits of reaching for my buoyancy only here or reaching for my buoyancy in, in the back or where all of the components of the systems are. You can see that I like it a lot because I keep it on, but now is the time to take it off. So give me a second as I'm taking it off. We come here now to disadvantages of that system. 
And the first one that I need to say is true, is that it requires a little bit of knowledge and understanding of that system to fit it properly. Because if this system is not adjusted to your body type and to you, it will not really be convenient because it could be too tight, restricting your movements because the shoulder strap might be too tight. And as well, it could be too loose. Maybe the straps will be different lengths. And then because if it's, this is fixed, you will not be able to adjust it quickly. There are some models that they have the harness adjustable, but still you need to have a certain level of knowledge to do it properly and make that system dive comfortably. So this would be one big disadvantage that it doesn't come ready straight from the box and you need to spend some time adjusting it, but when it's done, it fits perfectly. The second thing is as well, what I was talking about the straight from the box, it is modular, so it has separate components like backplate, wing, the single tank adapter. Most of the time, the system, they come assembled from the manufacturer, but sometimes if you would like to use the modularity in it, so disassemble it and maybe put a different backplate or put a different wing, it will require a little bit of work around it. So you would need to put these pieces together. So again, we are coming here to having a little bit more knowledge about how the system is built and how it is working. The other disadvantage is that it doesn't have pockets, like the other one had pockets that you can put stuff in. So in that uh, way, you might have additional pocket that you purchase separately that comes on one of the sides. Or what we usually do as Jewy divers, we just put a cargo pants or cargo shorts, which were specifically designed shorts that you can use underwater with pockets on your left and right thigh, where you can really store a lot of stuff. So it comes there and it doesn't create any additional uh, bulkiness in the front, so if you are in a nice flat trim, there is nothing that is hanging because the pockets will be on your sides, so on the sides of your ties. So this will be another disadvantage that it doesn't have the pockets integrated. Now the next disadvantage is that the systems might be heavier because of the materials being used, like stainless steel for back plates. So for traveling, it might be a little bit more harder to travel with because they might weigh more than a standard jacket. They might be a little bit more bulkier as well because of the uh, single tank adapter that it's a little bit more bigger or it's, it has a higher profile than the one that is integrated into a standard jacket. Uh, the second thing, the, the next disadvantage is that the, because of the gas being in your bag, so the wing is on your bag, if you're on the surface having the wing inflated, it might tend you to push your face towards the surface of the water, so you might be kind of being pushed forward, which if you do not know or if you do not expect can be kind of inconvenient because the system will be constantly pushing you forward. Of course, there are way around it and then you can kind of lean on it and sit as if in comfortable chair. But in the beginning, if you are not aware, this will be quite big disadvantage because you will feel the jacket is just pulling or placing your face forward to the water. The other thing is that there is no really kids sizes. We do have or there are a small size back plates, and, but for the kit, the, the, the limiting factor will be the length of the back plate because you know, kids' backs are shorter. So even the small back plate that is available is usually a little bit too big for kids of 11, 12, 13 years of age, unless it's a kind of grown kind of kid. Um, and the next thing is what very often you will and hear people complaining is the cost because most of the times those systems are a little bit more expensive to buy uh, and they are not so popular yet so if you travel somewhere you might not find it as a rental gear or even not all dive shops will sell it because they they would require a little bit more different types of knowledge and understanding on how to sell the system how to set it up and how to choose the proper one for the customer so their availability is a little bit less than the standard jacket what we did today, we compared a jacket style BC to a wing style BC on our Versus Monday series. And for me, the main differences are uh, the fit. One is a little bit more versatile. It could fit almost everybody with buckles and then you can pull them tight and make them looser. This is as well disadvantage. The other one is more snug. It has nothing really in front that would restrict your movement or your breathing. And it's once fit, it fits you properly. Uh, the other main differences for me is the volume of gas that it can contain. Or maybe not the, the volume of gas, but where this volume is. So 
in the back for a wing system and distributed to the front and to the back, but mainly kind of in the front in these two pockets here on a jacket style, which doesn't really promote an easy way of getting into a neutral, nice flat trim. So these are the main differences for me, plus potentially the popularity of it. So how easily it is accessible and how easy it is to just take it straight from a box and use it, where the jacket style is just cut the price tag off, put it on and use. And with the wing style, you would need to adjust the harness on the back plate to fit you. And it will take a little bit of time and a little bit of knowledge to do it properly. So I hope you enjoyed that video, that you learned something new and then you considered pluses and minuses of these systems. I'm curious if you have any additional pros and cons for the jacket, so it would be great if you can put them down into the comments. You can always ask their questions as well and we will try to adjust, uh, address them as quickly as we can and answer questions. Uh, but really it will be very cool to see what you think about this too and then what your perception, if you have been using both, are. So I would like to thank you for this time. Uh, we will be shooting more Versus Monday soon. So I hope to see you there next Monday, potentially next week. So thank you very much for listening and I will see you next time.